Welcome back YouTube. My name is Dennis Panuta for tutorials.eu. In this video, we will check out the do while loop, which is slightly different to the while loop. So the while loop is a pretest loop, which I explained in the last video. So it tests the condition before it executes its first run. Now the do while loop, however, doesn't do that. So let's create a do while loop. So I'm going to call the variable K and K. I set it to, for example, zero. Now I check or I write the word, word do and within here I have my block. So the code that I want to execute within my do while loop. Now, of course, I need the while statement at one point as well, where I do have the condition. So here I have the condition and while K is lower equal five, for example. So now I have my do while loop. Now I can execute the code that I want to run within my loop. So debug.log do while num is plus k. And now, of course, I may not forget to increase k or increment k, or at least lead to the situation where the statement here or the condition here is not true anymore. So I check. Here at the bottom is k lower than five. If it is, then let's roll again. So let's save that script and let's go back to Unity. We can see do while num is zero, do while num is one, two, three, four, five. So now you might say, well, there is no difference at all. So what's the purpose of this? Well, the purpose is the following. So let's say I have not zero as the value here. So J is not zero, but let's say it's 15. And the same with K. So K is 15, J is 15. And let's start with I 15 as well here, just to, to compare those three loop types. So now let's run this code again and see what happens. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Do while num is 15, while loop done. Perfect. There's nothing more. So it just says do while num is 15. And why is that? That's because it doesn't check. So it doesn't pretest. It just says, all right, I'm going to do it. I don't care. I'm not testing. But as soon as it's done, then it tests. So now it tests is K lower equal 15. Well, 15 is not lower equal 15. It's a higher number. So the statement is not true, which means I'm not going to rerun my while loop. So I'm just going to go ahead with the code that follows. And that's why the do while loop is so powerful because it first runs the code without checking the condition and then it checks the condition. And that can be very useful in many different occasions. All right, so now we have seen the do while loop. We have seen the while loop, the for loop. Let's have a look at the last loop type, which is the for each loop. So let's go to the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like. And if you have any questions or suggestions, then leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And by the way, if you really love the content and you would like to have more of it or pretty much all of it, then of course, check out the link in the description to my whole course. See you in the next video.